That's the Audio Hat case, all set up. Pretty nice, nice and compact. What's up, YouTube? Today we've got a review video for some stuff brought to us by GearBest.com. So we have two different kits here. One kit is this on the left side here, and then one kit is this on the right side here. So let's get started off with the kit on the left. What it is is the Audio Hat kit, an Audio Hat for a Raspberry Pi. So you get a whole Raspberry Pi case, custom made to hold on this audio hat. Two hours later. All right, no instructions, we're gonna figure this out. I figure the vents are at the bottom because you want a cool little top at the top. And then this has gotta be for that. Well, first let's put the audio hat on the pie. Okay, connected, boom, we're done. Check out the hardware we got here. Oh wow. Uh, that would make sense there. Then we have the one in the back. And then we got the one in the front. that all fit right on there. And then we've got the last piece, which goes like that. So you can still get to a port here when you've got the hat. Okay, and then the last step is you get these little reinforcement pegs, a little detail here. All right, that's the audio hat case all set up. Pretty nice, nice and compact. The top, the screws act as, um, as um, what's the word? What's the word for uh, little grommets, little um, legs, if you will, um, but it will scratch a surface if you press hard. So, I mean, they're rounded screws, but still, it's not something rubber. You can always put rubber on top of it. So there you go, that's it all set up, all ready to go. Um, different software is going to run this differently. I'm not sure if RetroPie would allow you to use these ports, but I do know there is other applications that will allow you to use the upgraded audio, and you can turn a little $35 computer into a touchscreen uh, DJ sound system stereo. Very easy to do. Now next up, I had plans on putting this all together and making my own speaker. Um, basically what this is, is you get two speakers, you get all the right boards and diodes and LEDs to properly create a uh, LED speaker, little speaker cubes that are in clear acrylic. You can see the acrylic is clear in there. And um, so you get little speaker enclosures with all the hook with all the hookups here plus you get the um the auxiliary in so you just would wire these to this two speakers and you have a uh, aux and then some extra wires here as well to go from the speaker to the outside of the enclosure to the actual board where you would uh, solder on those wires so you even have a little power on and off switch in there to turn it on and off all the diodes, everything you need. So for somebody looking for a really cool project and somebody comes over and they're like, wow, those are really cool speakers, you'd be like, yeah, I built them myself. So pretty cool. Let's, I'll show you some pictures online of the finished product. They look really cool. Let's go check those out. So here's the DAC Hi-Fi audio card with case. As you saw, we just assembled it. Mine didn't come with this clear acrylic on top. It came with the paper, which is fine. Uh, mine also didn't come with these pins here but it was fine I could see what that might go between the pie and the um, the audio card but that wasn't really a big deal either with the case on there you're not gonna really need those anyways uh, but there you go uh, and this guy really liked the sound so far I haven't hooked it up yet but I imagine it'll be good 
Works great, and I'm using Rune Audio. This sounds much better after adding the module. So, nice. So here's the, the box. The reason I haven't set it up yet is because look at all these parts. <laughs> it's gonna take me a little bit of time. I still need to find the instructions as well. So full disclosure, like this is gonna be like somebody buying a 10,000 piece puzzle and wanting to put it together, unless you've done these before. So I mean, they look awesome, but you literally have to solder everything on together. You gotta solder the diodes, the transistors, the resistors. There's a, there's a little on button here. You got your auxiliaries. You gotta you gotta solder the um, the speaker to the module board here, and then the module board to the auxiliary cable. Uh, but they look cool, and you gotta screw in all the little acrylic pieces together. I think they look awesome. Um, it doesn't give you much information about how powerful the speed. Oh, there you go, three watts. So they're not very powerful. But I mean, this would be pretty cool, pretty cool if you got it all up and running and to show people you did it. This guy built them, um, he has a picture of his, let's check out his picture. So there you go, he left the paper on one of them. You know, they're little rectangular speaker boxes with little like one and a half, two inch speakers in there. So there you go. So this is the electronic sound box kit. I mean, it would actually make a really great gift to somebody who likes to tinker. So keep that in mind. It's a lot for 20 bucks, like what you're getting and what you need to put together, a lot of screws and stuff. So it'll keep somebody busy for many, many, many hours. Don't forget to like this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks again to GearBest. There'll be links in the description for these things. And don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.